Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use LUTs with Corona Render and 3ds Max. We're going to start by opening our rendering in the virtual frame buffer, or you can also use the interactive rendering. In Corona Render 8 and 9, we need to add the LUT. To do this, we need to press the plus button, and at the bottom of the list, we can select the LUT option. This is going to add a new LUT control at the bottom of the tone mapping adjustment. We can also turn it on or off by pressing the check mark button. With the Corona Render installation, we have access to over 80 free LUTs that come pre-installed. After selecting one of them, we can see how our render changes the look. We can place our cursor on top of the drop-down list and use the wheel in our mouse to start scrolling through all of them. Each one of these LUTs is going to change the colors, brightness, or contrast of the image. A simplistic way to describe them is like an Instagram filter. We also have an option to change the opacity. One is 100% visibility, 0.5 is 50% visibility, and so on. If we press the three dots button next to the drop-down menu, we can open other LUTs. One of the nice features is that Corona is going to load all the LUTs in the same folder. We can then scroll through them and see the look they add to our images using the wheel mouse button. To open again the pre-installed Corona render LUTs, you can find them in the main Corona render installation folder. In this case, the default one is Program Files Corona LUT. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.